Also, our uh, with this special advisor, Obutu, the country director. It is uh, a special delight that um, the country director is here with us and her team today. Uh, I didn't know that this request would be needed so quickly. I was the world bank um, barely three weeks ago. And um, we had very fruitful discussions with the bank. And um, in the course of that fruitful discussion, I was always injecting my request after I read a uh, presentation to my director that you have to come to it. And of course, politely said, oh yes, I will come. Uh, with us. We just have to work out the time to do it. So when I received a call two days ago that uh, uh, a window had opened for her to come to AKT and uh, I was asked if I could accommodate her. Uh, I was on the road. I didn't have my diary. I wasn't even in touch with my secretary. I said, you know what? I am available. Whatever is on my diary. And uh, I would uh, be delighted to have uh, 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 here. And uh, she came in yesterday by road and had to just a brief conversation about driving into to a meeting and the opportunity that I fought to get a clear sense of where we are uh, on, on the uh, road map to developing. Well, the, the World Bank has been a long-standing partner here in the state. Um, the World Bank has been here for as long as this state has been in existence, uh, 10 years. And um, uh, through its Pajama ADP initiative, uh, involvement in the health sector, involvement in governance, particularly with the establishment of our Bureau of Public Procurement and uh, and due process office involvement in uh, education, uh, which has coincided with my own time of coming to office uh, in the last uh, year, and uh, involvement in uh, other areas uh, in, in the state. We have an eight point development agenda in the city pretty much mirrored after the eight MPPs. Uh, it focuses on democratic and accountable government structures. It looks at uh, our vision to restore education uh, to its private place in Nigeria and in the United States. Modernize agriculture, which uh, used to be our base and so remains the a uh, source of livelihood for at least 70% of our population. Uh, healthcare is, is central to our eight-point agenda. Uh, industrial development, uh, you would have seen driving into the state a lot of rock formations. This, this is, uh, it, it actually means a place of rocks. Uh, and there's a lot of uh, hidden dwells underneath those rocks that we haven't really exploited as a state and that we are determined as a government to uh, do a lot in uh, tapping into. Uh, and uh, we also have a focus on tourism and environmental uh, sustainability as uh, a key agenda in the, in the roadmap to, to recovery. And uh, we uh, in on infrastructure development, uh, all of what we're saying without uh, the network of roads, without uh, huge improvements in water supply, without electricity that is consistent and uh, predictable, 
uh, and uh, without uh, uh, an ICT network that allows us to take advantage of our educational attainment and human capital in the state, it would be difficult for us to uh, uh, ensure that we will make that fundamental break with poverty that um, we are desirous of, of achieving. Uh, and finally, uh, on gender empowerment and uh, uh, gender equality and women uh, empowerment. So these eight agenda items encapsulate our focus and uh, uh, development agenda as, as, as a government. And we started that by ensuring that we put the laws in place uh, to help us achieve these uh, agenda. The uh, State House of Assembly has been the most prolific uh, House of Assembly in the country uh, since it came into office uh, last year. And within that period, we've had 29 laws in place, uh, including critical laws like uh, fiscal responsibility uh, law, uh, our freedom of information law, which is the first in the country. Uh, to be domesticated outside of the federal government uh, uh, freedom of information. You know, and no other state has actually done what we've done here uh, as far as that is concerned. Our uh, gender-based violence prohibition law, which is also another force in the, in the country, our public-private partnership law, uh, which uh, provides a framework for engagement with uh, the, the private sector, our social security for the elderly law, again, another first uh, in the country uh, because we're the only one who even has uh, a social security in place for any segment of the population, either the elderly or the youth uh, 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 in, the, in the country. And in that period as well, we have had uh, a much more robust engagement with development agencies, which was not the case before in, in AKT. Uh, in a short time in office, you would be the uh, second World Bank delegation here, uh, barely two, three months into uh, office. Your predecessor was there with us to assess what we're doing and to look at uh, possibilities for partnership and areas of, of further engagement. So we're delighted that. Uh, you're here. Uh, DFID has been here with us in the last year. Uh, they've helped us in a variety of areas, particularly with the setting up of our Office of Transformation uh, Strategy and Delivery, which is uh, more of a clearinghouse for all our ministries and uh, monitoring mechanisms for the projects uh, that uh, we are delivering to ensure that they are on cost and they are on time and they are efficiently uh, delivered. Uh, other partners, UNIDO, UNDP itself, uh, USAID, UNICEF, WHO, they are all active uh, in, in, in the kitchen. Um, and within that period of being in office, for three months now, we have uh, done a lot of things on ensuring that we achieve uh, effective government structure and participatory uh, uh, democracy, not just in terms of uh, the efficiency of how government runs. Uh, that clearly we had to, to, to work on, but also the uh, transformation of the civil service itself. Uh, we have introduced new systems, processes, and procedures uh, in our civil service. We've introduced uh, performance tests and examinations uh, in the choice of our permanent secretaries and senior officials uh, in, the, in the civil service. We've uh, uh, also introduced a biometric payroll application uh, system in the state, which uh, uh, has helped us tremendously in even getting a clear sense of who exactly worked for us in AKC and how long are they going to work for us and how do we plan with all of that information 
information that we have in place that uh, clearly assists our own financial and, and, and uh, planning uh, our processes in the state. We are also extending this to the local government uh, as well. Over the last uh, year, we have uh, put in place a lot more resources that have never been done on uh, uh, infrastructure development in the state. 54% uh, of our budget this year is on capital uh, project. And um, that's because, I mean, we, we found the situation of infrastructure uh, uh, all in one came to office. So you should have noticed even driving in here a lot of construction work, road construction uh, uh, in, the, in the state. We will be attending a seminar later on water, which is the environment of our water uh, master plan, which primarily focuses on moving the current supply that is under 30% to 80% uh, in 2014. Uh, because we feel that it's so critical for us to solve the water problem because it's, it's not lack of water. We have four dams in the state. So we have a huge water uh, 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 provision. It is reticulation. It is getting the water to the communities and the constituencies where the water is required and ensuring that this is done uh, uh, not in the usual manner. Uh, we want it to be done efficiently and we believe that our people will pay if they get a service rendered to them uh, in an efficient manner. They, they will pay for the water. Unlike now that it's more of a social service that uh, is rendered to, to the population. Boosting of electricity supply is also very, very key to us. Um, we're a small state, but the bulk of what has happened in, in the electricity sector has also been likely undertaken by us. Uh, we're the ones doing the rural electricity connection. Uh, we have a substation that is supposed to service the state. But right now, what comes to the state is probably not more than 20 megawatts. Uh, and we know that we need uh, something we need about 100 megawatts. Uh, and we are looking at a variety of options to, to get that, uh, including independent power projects uh, for renewable energy. We've been talking to World Bank about renewable renew energy uh, for some time, and uh, we, we hope that that will clearly help uh, produce the, the necessary results. Uh, on, on ICT, we have a vision of the wireless state. Uh, and one of the things that we're doing is not just to uh, encourage the use of uh, information technology in the state, but to also ensure that the infrastructure, the backbone for that is available in the state. So our main fiber optic cables first in the capital and then are hopefully extended to uh, the, the other parts of the state. We are also, uh, I believe one of the projects that we will be visiting uh, today is uh, uh, the, the supply of uh, a computer for child that was launched in the state uh, recently, which again uh, is, is the first of its kind in the country. I'm, I'm not aware of uh, any other state that has a computer for child in the secondary schools. They're not even rivers or acquire home, uh, whatever the resources of the uh, stuff like, like, like that. But for us, there is a there's an end point to this. We we said when we were campaigning that we wanted it to be the bungalow of Nigeria, the ICT capital of Nigeria that can then help us uh, utilize the human capital that we have in outsourcing, in call centers, when it's fully uh, developed. And this is still something that we are passionate about. 
uh, and make it a key area for us. As I mentioned earlier, and make it one of the, in fact, is the, is the, is the largest employer of labor in our state. We're huge in agroforestry, it is huge in, uh, in, in cocoa, uh, in cassava, in rice, uh, in banana. We have virtually everything that grows in the kitty. And every part of the kitty is known for particular things. But we don't just want to dissipate our energy working on all the things that can grow here. So we're focusing on uh, free people, commodity. We're focusing on cocoa, we're focusing on cassava, we're focusing on rice, uh, we back up on, on oil pan. And the, the Agric Ministry is working on a structure that allows uh, the youth in our state to become involved in commercial agriculture. In fact, next week we're launching, launching the Youth in Commercial Agriculture Initiative in Dubai, and, and the Honorable Minister uh, of the Greek is going to be here uh, for, for that. Another strategy that we're employing is uh, the revival of our farm settlements, our old farm settlements, uh, through commercial players. We know that we do not have the capacity ourselves, but that we should encourage all that that are already established in the field to come and take over the, the, the settlement and then assist us in training and supporting our small farm holders uh, in, in the areas where this exists. Uh, this we've done in two of our major uh, farm settlements, uh, the farm settlement in Naive and uh, the Ronald Farm Settlement. Uh, and uh, we are also tying an irrigation initiative. We have this interesting initiative. Our representatives in the National Assembly, they normally get constituency money. So they decided to come together. Instead of spending it in the usual way, uh, they pool their own constituency money together for an irrigation initiative uh, in the state this year. And uh, the UNDP have also come on board that initiative to support us, uh, uh, as well as the state itself. So the irrigation initiative is tied to one of the uh, farm settlements that uh, I've mentioned. Our vision really uh, is that we will develop the entire value chain uh, in those three products in a manner that will become the major supplier. Uh, I mean, we, we would like to export, but our primary ambition now is just the domestic market because we know that even the Lagos market alone, if we do well and we service that market, we will have added a lot of value and brought a lot of resources uh, to, to our, our state uh, as far as the agric sector is concerned. And I believe we're seeing the irrigation uh, 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 project uh, in, in a tree out of the uh, town. Uh, uh, on, on education, we have been working with the World Bank. So the World Bank is pretty familiar with many of the things that we're doing in the uh, education sector. Uh, we are part of the PIL uh, uh, program investment uh, lending initiative and uh, again our vision is to restore and then add value, functionality particularly to the education sector. This state used to have a reputation uh, of being uh, the intellectual fountain of Nigeria uh, and um, but I'm afraid, I must also admit that things have since gone pear shaped uh, and we're trying to get it back on track and ensure that uh, both from the uh, early child learning initiative to our tertiary education, we're able to tackle the uh, education challenges we have in an integrated manner. So we, when we came to office, I said we had an education summit. And all of the stakeholders were part of the summit. And we decided on a number of far-reaching uh, initiatives, one of which was to ensure that 
the people themselves take ownership of the education sector. So in, 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 in the uh, primary and secondary school, we are now have school-based management uh, assistant that involves parents uh, in what we're doing there. The framework now focuses on uh, uh, the, the learning environment, so we're renovating all, all the schools. We have an operation Renovate All Schools uh, initiative, as far as that goes, where we're training and we're tooling our teachers. And the ICT initiative I mentioned also has provision for teachers. All of the teachers are getting uh, laptop computers too, so that it's not just uh, a one way traffic to the stable. We're not stopping at that. Uh, we have rearticulated our high school system and matched uh, the, the junior and the senior, and uh, then subjected the, the teachers and the principals to examination, uh, which was not very popular, I must admit, but uh, uh, they're getting used to it. Beyond that, we're, we're very happy about the uh, performance of the team public examination wide and level. So we decided that one, there would be no longer automatic promotions for uh, students in high school. And that before we present you for any public examination, you must have passed our own examination here. So there is a common uh, examination for all high school kids at the SS2 level. So if you don't pass that, you don't go to SS3 and get presented for YM. Uh, and the school leaving examination. Again, that was not exactly popular, but um, uh, everybody is getting used to, to that. In our uh, vocational and technical education, which for all is a critical area that will require also assistance and support from the world bank, and I believe we already even made some requests uh, to, to, to the bank on that. We are uh, focusing on on life skills, particularly, because we have a lot of graduates, very, very certificated graduates. They have paper qualification, but they really do not have a clue. They cannot function in the workplace, and that is an area that we are working on. We set up life academics uh, to help us provide them with the necessary skills to function beyond just the uh, holding certificate. At the tertiary level, we decided early on, also through the decisions of the, uh, the recommendations of the summit that I talked about earlier, that we must make up our mind whether we want a university that supports its name or glorified secondary schools. And if it used to have free universities, when we came into government. And as a result of that, we match the free universities. So we now have one university in the state, and we're working very closely with that one university now to at least begin to resemble what a university really ought to be. Uh, and with the support, not just from us, but also from the private sector, because we alone cannot do it. As far as uh, we are working with the state university to improve it, a 30 year old university, they will have supported uh, the private uh, uh, the health sector. So we, on the PIL program, our educational if not what it used to be, our public schools are even going to be a net recipient. That's what we are for the public schools, which are okay, for us. And we're not neglecting tertiary health, uh, but primary health care is uh, key to us because the evidence available show that what is really the challenge here. Uh, we have lifestyle diseases, they are, they are increasing. We have people with cancer, diabetes, and all that now, but they're not the major challenge that we face. It's those opportunistic diseases uh, that the communicable ones that are the challenge. And that has to do with sanitation, with water, with poverty, uh, 
our situation. And uh, the more we focus on, on, on primary health care, the more we're able to address uh, that, that challenge that we have. The World Bank has been supporting us in, through the HSDP uh, initiative, and uh, we're going to visit one or two of those uh, uh, projects. Uh, it's winding down now, uh, uh, and we, we're really looking forward to uh, further support from the bank uh, on, on that. But the, the vision is that we have uh, a more healthier population that is then able to face the challenges of uh, uh, the, 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 the modern environment.
we feel that it's possible for us to do a one product by local government and uh, 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 like initiatives, uh, a rice mill here and all in the a cassava processing factory in an area where that is uh, the um, uh, uh, commodity of value. And across the sector, we are already doing quite a number of things to, to make this a reality. Uh, also, because we have uh, stones here, uh, value stones, we are uh, in negotiation with a number of institutions that want to set up quarries, that want to set up uh, stone cutting, stone polishing uh, uh, companies in, in the kitchen. Because uh, we have built of granite and marble and uh, other precious uh, stones in the, uh, in the sector. Um, on on uh, gender, uh, AKT believes very strongly. Whenever that I mention, for them, health is our, uh, our focus on AIDS control. Because for us, HIV and AIDS is, is a major challenge that we cannot take for granted. Uh, and uh, you're also supporting us uh, in that area. Right now, um, we have uh, a rate of about 1.4%, and I think we can still do a lot better than that. We used to be 1%, uh, somehow, we um, an upward curve, and I think we should be on a downward curve. Uh, uh, there is a lot of enlightenment activities that we are engaging in, and uh, as uh, a leader in the state, I also feel that I do have a responsibility to be active in uh, propagating that. So, uh, the last four days, they are going around distributing conduct around the street of America. So, uh, uh, a way of getting our people more and more enlightened about this. If we can stop people from having engagement uh, 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 and liaisons, at least let's try and get them to have a uh, safe liaisons in uh, APT. So we, 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 we consider that to be a major priority that will still require support uh, on. Um, but on, on gender issues, uh, we, we were looking at it from a range of perspectives. One is uh, the opportunities available for uh, improving girl-child education. Uh, it's not that we have a major problem in it, it's not like all the states. Our girls go to school. Uh, there is no uh, reason for them not to. But we also must not drop the ball as far as this is concerned. But what is much more critical to us is women in public life, women in, in, the, in the public service, women in politics, women in all the spheres of engagement, and making sure that the space is attractive and supportive for them to engage on uh, 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 a much more level playing field. So, we have put uh, laws in place. The KT has been the only state that domesticated the national gender policy uh, in the country. We, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, have put in place a gender based prohibition, gender based violence prohibition law because that is still a challenge. Domestic violence, um, child rape, and a number of these issues are still occurring even here as enlightened as we are and we do feel that we have a duty as a government to play a much more active role in stemming the tide of, of, of that in, in our state. Uh, we are making some improvement. Uh, there was no women in our state assembly before we came. We now have four uh, out of the 26. It's still not um, 35 percent, but we, we we're determined to keep improving on, on that. We, we have more uh, women in the 
thing on hierarchy of public servants. I mean, we have six permanent secretaries that uh, are female now, and um, uh, a very prominent in, in the university system, as well as in uh, some of our major profession as well. But we do need to do a lot more. At least now that the the law and the framework is there to support that, um, we are certainly to be conscious of efforts as a government to encourage more women uh, in, the, in the public space. The, these are essentially the the areas covered by our agenda. And if you look at the, the statistics, APT is really not, uh, uh, we, we, we're bottom of the pile in terms of resources. We're number 35 on the national and the near ladder. But in terms of performance, in terms of indicators, uh, you find out that APT is uh, the highest in terms of literacy level. You will find out that AKT is also it has the, the longest uh, lifespan uh, in, in the country. We uh, are still a poor state, relatively speaking. But uh, if you look at the national growth statistics uh, recent records, we are not desperately, or we still consider the situation desperate. So we're looking at a variety of opportunities particularly in the agricultural sector, to help us reverse the trend uh, as far as um, uh, the, the poverty index is, is concerned. And we're also looking at attracting as many investments as possible to the state so that the uh, opportunities that are there for our uh, population will expand uh, uh, incrementally. Um, let me stop here because I know we're still about the initiative of prosperity for some of the things that we the, the, the important of ownership to our people, right? Everybody in the French Brown, all the cities, all the local governments, all the communities that are exceeded community and social development agencies are uh, in highlighting what the priorities of the communities are. So they tell us these are the things that we want the state to do for us. And that was how we formulated this year's budget. We incorporated performance communities that were centers, communities, from the rural uh, farmstead.